Hey everyone, my name is Jeff, and this is a tutorial to show off some of the theme and template options you have when you're developing a Microsoft Sway. So the first thing that we're going to take a look at is some of the design cards. So if you go to the top of your screen and find the design button, click on that, and it will pop open a panel on the left-hand side that looks kind of like this. So from here, you can choose any of these cards, and as you choose the cards, it will update your preview on your right-hand side so that you can take a look at what that looks like. If you need to see the whole preview, just click into that preview, and you can see what it looks like. And you can just click through and decide if you like a look for it. So at this point, this card uh, is good enough for me at this point, so I'm just going to leave that. If I wanted to look for something that was more of a customized look, I can click on Customize in the left-hand side design panel that's open. And I can do some cool things like pick one of the pictures that are in my Sway, and it will generate some color palettes based upon those pictures. So especially if you have something uh, if, you, if your presentation is really graphic orientated, this might be a good option for you to pick one of those. So I'm going to pick this blue car, and I'm going to pick this blue color palette that goes along with it. And that way, all my text and everything will match the color palette of that particular picture. Now I can also change the layout. If I go up and I click on layout on the top navigation bar, it will pop open this left-hand panel that gives me some layout options. Now these are navigation schemes. I can choose from a presentation that scrolls vertically. So it's going to give me this vertical scroll bar and all my content will be demonstrated in a vertical fashion. If I pick the middle option here, that will allow my content to be viewed horizontally. So it'll scroll from left to right. I can also pick this optimize for presentation option. And this is going to demonstrate my content in more of a traditional slide format. So it's not moving as much as it is just kind of clicking through to my content in a more traditional slide presentation format. The last thing that I'd like to show you is this Remix button. Now the Remix option is set up to be a quick automatic way of adding some visual design components to your Sway. So you can click on that Remix button and it will automatically kind of configure the look and feel of the templates and designs. And you can click that button as many times as you'd like to generate different looks. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it on this option because I kind of like this option. This concludes this tutorial on how to configure the themes and templates within a Microsoft Sway.